Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Sunday, November the 5th. It's the 22nd Sunday after Pentecost, at week 4 in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 84, and Luke 12, verse 22 to 31. And a canticle from Isaiah, chapter 45, verses 17 through 18 and 22 through 25. And now join me, please, in singing the second verse of O Lord and Father. In simple trust, like theirs who heard beside the Syrian sea, the gracious calling of the Lord led us like them without the word rise up and up and follow thee. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, how lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts. Hallelujah. Psalm 84, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, how lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts. My soul longs for your courts. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. The sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself. She lays her young beside your altars. O God of hosts, my ruler and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in your house. They forever praise you. Blessed are they whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. Who, passing through the bitter valley, make it a well. The rain fills the pools. They go from strength to increasing strength, every one of them in Zion, seeing God. O most high God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Behold, O God, our shield, and look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a servant in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For you, God, are a sun and a shield. You give grace and glory. No good thing will you withhold from them that walk uprightly. Blessed are they that trust in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 12, beginning at verse 22. Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouses nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? If then you are not able to do so small a thing as that, why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink, and do not keep worrying, for it is the nations of the world that strive after these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, 
and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now let's recite the canticle together. Hallelujah, but Israel shall be saved by God Most High with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded to all eternity. For thus says our God that created the heavens, look to me and be saved all the ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. Unto me every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear. Only in me are righteousness and strength, and to me all people shall come. And all that are incensed against me shall be ashamed, and in me all the children of Israel shall be justified and glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.